Today I will show you how to detect a fake Sony battery. This fake one was delivered right from Amazon. It's the NPBX1. It was from a seller from Amazon Marketplace, but fulfilled by Amazon. I will show you how to spot the fake battery. One of the indications that it's a fake is the packaging. Left one is the fake, right one is the real one. However, that's not almost an indication since it could be that the counterfeit manufacturer tried to imitate another version of the battery. But he failed with two things here. First, the dots on the packaging. As the genuine Sony manufacturer uses light dots, this one uses dark ones. Indication number one. Second, the fake manufacturer just put the instructions on the cardboard of the packaging, whereas the original manufacturer spared no expense. First, there is an extra cardboard. Second, the warranty. Not only it's hard to fake this thin layer of paper, it's also a lot of work. And besides, the fraudster must have thought, why would I put a fake warranty paper in there? It increases the chances to be busted when someone tries to apply for the warranty. And they sure don't want to call this number. So they skip this part and that's why you usually won't have a warranty card inside the counterfeit packaging. Let's have a look at the batteries themselves. The counterfeit has a different printing, but that's not an indication. Since the batteries are being produced in different years, their look might change. But basically, just because this counterfeit looks different doesn't mean it's a counterfeit. They might have copied from another original that looked exactly like this. To see what's really going on, you have to look under the hood, so to say. When you peel this off, you'll see that the original has some printings on the silver metal cover, which is just another expense and effort for the swindler, so he just skipped that part and that's why the counterfeit battery won't have a print on the silver lining. One thing that's also interesting is it's very hard to remove the sticker from the Sony original, whereas it's a piece of cake to do so on a counterfeit battery. Since the glue they're using, most likely highly toxic too, is just bad quality. second indication is the uh, hologram. Uh, just look for yourself and uh, let the footage speak for itself. Anyways, the last indication and the strongest one is the weight of the counterfeit battery. Uh, the variance between the original batteries shouldn't be more than 0.2 grams. Whereas the counterfeit product weights less than uh, 2.0 than the original. I hope that helps. Thank you.